Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of It's Coffee O'Clock with Webox Chef. How are you today? I hope you're having a great time. We are having here the best time ever. I know it's a little bit late today, right? But it doesn't matter. Always is a good time for Webox Chef and for coffee, of course. So if you remind, I will remind you, if you remember, we specialize in grinders. Now, what are grinders? So they, well, these are not these big machines that we used to have a long time ago. We are talking about spice grinders that will be a pepper mill or a salt mill or any other kind of a spice mill and coffee grinders or coffee mills, right? Now, what's the deal with coffee grinders? Well, I'm talking about something so different. I'm saying grinders, but I talk about spice grinders or seasoning grinders and coffee grinders. Well, we have a big difference that is how hard are the seasonings or the spices or in this cut in this case the beans that we are going to crush right so for coffee grinder we are going to talk about this one i have here today this is bevox chef okay golden or copper color grinder now what's the deal with this grinder and what i'm mentioning that is different well because usually in a pepper mill, you will see that you just need to use both hands and nothing else. Rarely you will have any kind of handle as we have here. Here we have a very, very long handle. Why do we have a handle? Well, since the coffee beans are a little bit harder and more difficult to crush than any other kind of uh, beans or, well, not any other, but many more kinds of beans or spices or peppercorns, corns in this case, what you will do with this is actually put more strength into the way you are going to grind, okay? This is going to help you and help the grinders actually move better. Now, what's the deal with this grinder? What do we see? Why makes it so different to, it, to others? Well, we have some details. To start with, right away, you can see that we have a clear container. Why is it important that we have a clear container here? Well, a clear container will allow us to see how much we are actually grinding. So let's say we want to prepare for over coffee for a whole family. Well, probably we're going to need closer to 70 grams of, co of coffee, of ground coffee. And for that, this is going to be perfect. But if it was not clear, we won't be able to see actually how much we are grinding, all right? Now, in this case, since it's transparent, it's this lime glass, is very strong, keep it in mind. What we are going to see is everything that we are grinding at the moment, all right? So whatever comes in here, we are going to see and we will know the amount. So we want to prepare coffee just for ourselves. Well, maybe we just need 20 grams of coffee or maybe we just want an espresso and we just want seven grams. We are going to be sure that we are not crossing a line, okay? Even if we cannot tell by weight because of course coffee is going to be different and the amount of coffee is going to be different we can see by our eyes and that is very very important second detail that we also can see very fast the handle we have a very long handle with an end in a wood knob now this knob is made of beech wood which means it's very strong okay it's resistant and it's going to last now you cannot take it off all right which is very very important in this case now we have an extra detail and it's here. This is the box chef. Mark, a stamp is our brand. Why? Well, because here we have these numbers that go from number one all across to number six. Okay, these numbers are the indicators of our ring setting or, or setting adjustment in this case. When we are going to move it one by one, very precise, and we are going to get from very fine results in number one to very coarse results in number six, all right? Now, why is it important that we have different numbers? You may be thinking, isn't it just all the same? Well, if you're just getting started with coffee or you're just preparing coffee at home or you always used to buy just ground coffee, you didn't ever need to grind yourself, you're not going to see a difference. You will think everything is the same, but actually when you need to use an espresso machine like the one we have here, you need to have a very, very, very fine ground, okay? The fine as it is, is going to be different styles of coffee. Let's say we want Turkish coffee, it needs to be almost flower-like, okay? Very, very powder. Now, if we are going to prepare French press or let's say a cold brew coffee, you are going to see that we 
don't need such a fine ground. We need it to be very, very coarse because coffee is going to stay in the bottle for very, way too long. It's going to take longer time of brewing. Just making too fine doesn't make any sense. Okay, now, since we have all the numbers here, that means we are able to actually ground coffee beans for whatever we want to prepare. And today we are going to prepare some pour over, okay? Now, since it's so late and we actually want to spend time awake, because why not, okay, it's sad Friday, we are going to prepare some pour over coffee. So I'm going to take some coffee beans, okay? It's going to take just one measurement so we can see how much we have. You will see here that I just need to take out the handle that comes out together with the lid, okay? This is very important that it comes out with the lid or cap. Now, I'm going to actually start grinding, all right? I have my grinder here. We are going to hold it tightly. Now, this doesn't seem like a big opening, but it's very big for us to pour the beans inside and don't make, not make a mess, all right? There it is, you see? All perfectly inside. Now, we are setting number six. Now, I just made a mistake. I must admit, I just made a mistake. And that would be like first, or first step is I was going to be put the setting in place, okay? So in this case, since we are going to make pour over coffee, ooh, we are going to go to number, let's go with number four today, okay? Again, number one, two, three, four. We go to number four. Why I'm mentioning that it's important that we first change the setting and then pour the beans? Well, it's important because we don't want any bean to get stuck inside, okay? In this case, I was just moving a little bit upside down, so it's not going to everything be crushed down there, but it can happen, so let's be careful. Now, how to use it? We are going to hold a grinder, okay? You see, it fits in front of my hand, and we are just going to start to grind. Since I have left handed, I will cross on this side, but you could go actually go on the other side and it's the same, all right? Now, every time we ground, we are going to do it in a clockwise motion. If we go the opposite side, nothing is going to happen. So always in a clockwise motion, all right? Now you can see the coffee coming out there. You see? This is what I was meaning when I say it's important that we can see what we are doing. We can see the coffee coming out and we see how much coffee we are preparing, okay? Now I'm going to continue grinding. Now I'm going to just make coffee for me, so maybe this is enough. But just in this case, I'm going to show you a little bit more, okay? Have a measurement. We are going to prepare a little bit more coffee. Now, this coffee is going to be already enough for one person, okay? If you were going to replace the person, it will be more than enough. Of course, there are some of us who prefer to have almost 20 grams of coffee in just one espresso, but the idea will be a little bit less. Now, you see how much I got. Honestly, I got a lot. Now, our next step in this journey of getting to from coffee beans to pour over coffee is going to be our filters, okay? So here I have this little product that is actually something that we introduced no long ago, okay? And it's Webox Chef own filter holder. Now, why do I need a filter holder? Isn't just okay to have in a bag or in a drawer? Yes, it's okay, you can, but why would you? Isn't it just so much better to have them in your counter? It just look amazing. You have it in your own coffee bar. They're perfectly in place. And it's not only that. It's not just having them in display. It's a way of organizing, okay? This is just perfect organization. You look how satisfaction, it, so much satisfaction it brings you just see them all in one place. But not only that, I will take that off so I can show you what we are dealing with. Now, this holders have a specific detail as you can see here down they're flat they are flat at the bottom they are not v-shaped why well because we can actually fit inside any kind most kinds of paper filters we could put a v-shape like this one you could even put a flat bottom one 
or you could put a round okay even a round filter can fit inside or a square one you can actually fill, fit many many different sizes and types of filters all right now you may be asking oh but these filters are very small or just for two people or just for one doesn't matter since this since the shape of our holder is already in this v-shape any size is going to fit even if you fit if you try to put a filter number three that is for four people or three people four people whatever you are going to still be able to fit it in here all right now you see the color you hear the material this is bpa free very important we don't want any toxic in our kitchen or in our coffee or anywhere now we are going to start preparing some coffee so i'm going to just hold take hold the holder no take a filter all right and we are going to start preparing it but first remember we need to fold it on one side so it's easier to use and then i like to just press a little bit in the bottom i know it's not necessary but it just feels like it fits better that way now what else do we need to prepare pour over if you have been listening to me all this time you already know what we need we actually need a gooseneck kettle why do i need a gooseneck kettle well we need it because we want precision okay so my kettle is here you can see here's my kettle now this is a gooseneck kettle it has a little a few mm, characteristics that are going to make it perfect for prober coffee and the big one and the first one we see is the long spout why is it important that we have this long spout here well this long spout when we just move a little bit we just tilt a little bit the, the kettle you are going to see that water starts pouring out it allows us to have a lot of control over what we are doing we have a lot of control or of the flow of, of the flow of the water of the speed of the water even of the strength if we put it higher or lower it's going to be stronger or not so strong now in this case i'm just going to put hot water in it okay you could actually put it in an induction cooker or even on the stove but because we're talking about the stainless steel here it's not recommended because it's just going to make your life a little bit harder getting very hot but you could we already done it here I'm just going to pour some water. There we are. And we are going to start with our coffee. Now, since we have some paper, in this case, this paper is not bleached, so we shouldn't really have too many troubles with smells or anything. But to fit it in place, I'm just going to pour some water on it. Okay. It's almost like it sticks together now. But it rests until all the water pours down and we are finished. Now we are going to dispose of this water. And now we are going to start with our coffee. Oh, we already have our ground coffee here. We are going to put it inside. You can see better there. Okay. Remember, there is no perfect way to prepare coffee. This is always up to you and what you like. Some people like their coffee to be different styles and it's okay each way, all right? Now, give us our coffee, coffee ground, our filter ready, everything is ready. We are just going to start pouring water very carefully in this case i'm going to just go in circle motions and at first i just want to get my coffee wet okay just wanting to absorb the water so it gets to know when it's ready for what's going to come next now since i choose to do a number four that means my coffee is a little bit coarser okay so in this course, the way of making coffee, you will see that the water flows actually pretty fast. That's okay, it's what we are trying to achieve. Now, second time we go for a bloom. Okay. 
and then we keep going. Now, different people have different, different techniques, as I say, and we were talking about the kettle, you will see that I just tilt a little bit and the water comes out. I could actually put it very high and the water will go very, very strongly to the coffee. Not recommended, but maybe it's what you want. But why not? If not, we just go slowly down and we can even go very, 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 very slowly and it's still okay. All right. I make coffee for more than one person, I think. This is a lot of coffee, but you can see how it comes down and it's perfect. Now, we are going to leave this coffee on the side and we are going to drink it later, all right? So, right now, remember, we have our holder. Here it is, in $15.99. I'm telling you, you should go check out each one of these products because we have some coupons going on there and you want to find them, all right? So. This one right now is $15.99. Check out for a coupon. Check out. This here, that is our gooseneck kettle, is right now in $21.99. Check out for a coupon. Maybe you find it. And the grinder, my baby, is here. Right now it's going for $46.99. Also, check out. Maybe there is a coupon going on there. All right? Great. Now we are going to leave this here. You can see it. If you like, just click and the coffee here. Now, a book chef, we love coffee, but it's not the only thing we love. We also love to cook. Who doesn't like to cook? Well, a lot of people don't like to cook, but cook can be cooking can be way better, way of a more interesting experience if we just have the right elements and the right tools. And one of those tools that sometimes is overlooked is a good meal, a good grinder, a good spice grinder, a good pepper meal. Now, we are going, I'm going to show you two different models today, but three different products. So the first model I'm going to show you is our classic curve. That here it is. What is with the curve? Why I mention it like our classic? Well, because this model started with us. The box chef almost started with this product and it's just so, so, so great. What is the thing of this model? Well, as you can see, it's not your classic wooden pepper meal. It's a little bit different. And right away, you will see that there is a glass here, a glass container. In this glass container, you're going to put your spices. And at the top, you are going to see there is nothing because there is a little cup that you can take off, out, sorry. And inside you have the grinder itself. You can see there is made of ceramic. Why I'm mentioning this ceramic? Well, because ceramic is not going to corrode with salt. Remember, we don't want metals in the core of our spice meal because salt is going to corrode it. We want ceramic, okay? And this is what we have here. Ceramic is go not going to lose its sharpness over time, which is using salt or pepper. It's going to last for a very long time, as long as you take care of it, okay? Now, this grinder also has one specific thing, and this is, this little here thing here is the knob that is to settle the, it's going to set the coarseness or fineness of the ground we are going to try to make, okay? So if we move it in a counterclockwise motion, we are going to see that it's going to become very loose. That's going to give us very coarse results. If we move it in a clo close clockwise motion, we are going to see that we, it gets harder and harder. Well, it's because it's getting very tight and it's going to give us very fine results. Now, how are we going to use it? Well, we are just going to get some salt. Let's get some salt right now. Here's my salt. Now, holding from the ring at the bottom, you're going to open it. Oh, I don't have a... It's okay, I will take it from here. I didn't have a little spoon there. Here we are, here's our salt. Here is our container. Same process, just put a little bit. I'm just going to go with a little bit, we don't need more, okay? 
And now, again, holding from the ring, you are going to scream it in place, okay? Nothing weird there. What is weird is this. It just goes around and around. Now, how are we going to use it? I'm going to show you how to use this. You are going to see it on display, okay? Now, I'm going to go with a medium, medium coarse thing there. Okay, and I'm just going to show you how to use it. Very close first so you can see how it works. Put it upside down. We're just going to ground. This is what we get. Okay? You can see this salt is not as fine as table salt. It's a little bit coarser and that's exactly what we wanted, okay? Of course, remember, different coarseness in salt is going to be for different things. Maybe you're cooking meats, you want coarser salt. Maybe you're cooking fish and you run really, really coarse salt. Well, this is perfect for that. Now, beside that, we have other way of using it. This is just for display. And that will be just holding it a little bit down and just twisting. Now, we can also go very fine. Remember, I just adjust one side to the other, and then I'm not making big efforts to do this, okay? Actually, it's pretty easy to use. And you see how much salt comes out each time. And it's, actually, it's very precise even with the space where the salt is going. It's not going all over the table, it's just going where I want it to go. And that is very, very important when we are cooking. This model right now doesn't only have a big discount, it also may have a secret inside. So go and try to find the secret. This model also comes with a little tray. Now, this tray is 100% made of silicone. Why is it important that it's made of silicone? Well, because it's very easy to clean. Okay, you just put it under water, shake it a little bit, and it's dry and clean and no problem. And it's also a very good place to place, actually, your grinders. Now, you will forget about just leaving it on the counter, on the table, or whatever. They always have a place where to return to. And you don't need to buy anything extra. They are just together like this all the time. I've been using the grinder, put it back in place. I will take this one, put it back in place. Perfect. Now, this model is not the only one. Why? Because I say we have three mod two models two different products and the other one is also a new baby for us and it's this one this is Vevox Chef latest edition in spice grinders now as you can see there it's very similar but not the color so I'm going to show you we're going to first before opening picture on one side it's actually pretty very pretty box which means that you don't need to buy anything extra you can actually just give it as a present like this, maybe just a little bow. Behind you will have where to find us, little characteristics, and how to use it. But even if you don't remember, or you're not sure, or you just wanted to give it someone as a present, but maybe that person doesn't know how to use it, well, with this they will know, okay? Very, very simple to use. Now, once we open it, you will see inside there is a little card with some info in case you have any doubt or you have any problem, you always can contact us. Very good packaging, just in case so nothing gets broken while traveling. And inside are our grinders. I'm just going to show you today, we are not going to use them, but I'm going to show you how neat they look. You can see the color of this, okay? This color, it's a mix of colors. I cannot say it's gray, it's green, it's black. On certain light, it looks kind of greenish, even goldenish. At the same time, it looks very dark, like black or gray. It's just beautiful. These grinders are beautiful. And not only that, they actually are the perfect size. And where's this one? Perfect size for grinders, okay? You won't have any issue using them in your kitchen, using them if you have a small hands or big hands. They are just going to be perfect for you to use. Super simple of use, to use products. 
all right this product these grinders right now are $16.99 remember they are newest edition you can go find them right now and they also come with a lid so perfect now is this all we had for today it's not I was telling you before that we had two models now what is the other model you may be asking yourself well our second model today is none other than another very important classic right now of us and that is our electric grinder and you're saying oh electric grinders all those batteries every time I want to use it well no no batteries for us because the book chef electric grinders actually don't use batteries they don't use external batteries the batteries inside and you can actually charge them you're just going to plug them in here okay with a this one is micro usb but actually pay attention maybe something new is coming you're just going to plug it in and you are going to start charging okay there is a little light here that is going to let you know when it's charging and that is so 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 important for us to know and to use because you don't need to always remember oh i need to buy batteries again i need to buy batteries again forget it never again buy a battery you just need this what is the deal with electric grinders well electric grinders are not just simple and cool to use they're actually very helpful because let's say this one was simple it was very easy to use just twist no problem but you need two hands if you're a very busy person and you don't have two hands at the moment or you just have some kind of health issue that is not allowing you to completely use both hands or you just have some kind of problems in your fingers you are not going to have any issue using this grinder because let's be honest we all want to have fresh spices and just having some kind of limitation in our movement shouldn't uh, shouldn't stop us from actually doing what we want and in this case it's just my milling or just using a meal normally as would anyone everywhere so how to use them well you're just going to press it once we'll hear a little click it's not I, you won't be able to hear but there is a little click that we will hear and then just tilt it upside down you hear the sound that sound means that it's working and you can actually probably see it there right but when i put it up it stops you can see exactly the moment when it goes over the 90 degrees and it starts working and goes again over up 90 degrees and it stops now this is just almost magic when you don't want to use it you can just leave it like this in your counter and just flip it every time you want to use it or you can just press the bottom if you press the bottom upside down it will also work every time you press the button it will stop or start okay so just be sure you can put it upside down press it press it once again and no problem now this electric grinder is not just one there are two because this is a set of two spice grinders that we are going to get together okay not just one but two now you can put salt in one pepper in the other two different kind of peppers two different kind of salt anything you like you can put it in them and right now the price of this set is $39.99 again check out all our products here you may have discounts and there may be some coupons going on around there so please remember always always even if you're watching the video after the live still get into the links maybe you will find a good surprise and if you have any doubt with this just remember get in contact with us and we are going to help you get the best product for you all right so this was all for today i hope you all had a good time i had a great time and we will see each other very soon so have a good day bye bye